Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 as Serbia. <clears throat> Excuse me. In our um, Lazarus campaign, last we left off, we finally got the opportunity to attack Hungary with no allies joining him or anything like that, which is pretty nice. No Ottomans are intervening in our wars, nothing along those lines at all. So now we're going to wreck this guy. I'm not really entirely sure what we're going to take from him. Some good stuff, hopefully. <clears throat> um, at the very least, we're going to take Croatian provinces from him. We want to take a lot of Croatian stuff. So we'll do that. This motherfucker. Well, apparently he's just gonna sit there, so... There we go. Um, we have... We have a tech advantage against him, don't we? Yeah, we do. <clears throat> oh. So apparently we're just going to come in here, let's destroy Hungary. We don't have any discipline, but we have quite a bit of morale, and we have really, really good troops. We have a decent number of actual... Okay, so he's getting some mercs here, it's fine. We're only fighting me, and it's me versus him, and, you know, obviously. What is our siege ability? Um, 21 day siege ticks against the Hungarians, holy shit! Isn't that crazy? That's fucking nuts. And we're about to grab, I think we're gonna grab, we'll actually probably grab that admin tech. I think we're gonna be grabbing the diplo tech though. Damn, that's crazy. 21 day siege ticks against the Hungarians. We do unfortunately have Ferrari separatists. I could just boost the autonomy. Or make these guys loyal. I think we'll just do that. I think that works out a little better. Oh. Let's see, let's take that here, and then we're gonna grab that. We're gonna get Morale of Armies, and we're also gonna get our Infantry Combat Ability Finisher for our ideas. Or the Serbian ideas. And the Ottomans, um... Are not gonna intervene or do anything against us, really. Which is nice. I do think I want to destroy his army. Ooh. Moldavia entered into a military alliance with Poland. I do want to get a decisive defeat of his army before I think we begin any sieges. I think we should be able to pull it off. Uh, let's see. We have a lot of aggressive expansion, sort of, kind of. It's actually not as bad as I was thinking. Yeah, his discipline is, um, is pretty crazy. 105%. I mean, especially in this stage of the game, discipline counts for a lot more than may immediately meet the eye. This one's pretty important. So let's take this really fast. We have fucking 21 days siege ticks. And like I said, I'm not really sure exactly what we're going to take from him. Just hopefully a whole bunch of stuff. Um... Let's see, okay, hold on, hold on, people. Let's see, there's Sack of uh, Buddha, Sack of Budapest. Professionalism, or do we take the money? I think we're gonna take the money. I don't think we're gonna be taking, um, we're not gonna be annexing Budapest ourselves, this war. I don't f think. I, do I don't believe so, no, I don't believe so that we are. 
the hell is this fucker up to? We're taking a little bit of attrition, but that's alright. We're not doing too bad. This is a minus one. Um, let's see. Let's see, we can take that. We can get the morale of armies. Poland is apparently no longer considered a great power. I'm gonna guess likely because of technology, probably. I'm guessing. Okay. Come on, stack wipe or something? Still no stack wipe. It's kind of crazy. You bastard! Damn it, I'm gonna have to miss out on that stability. We're gonna take this. And we're probably gonna take the aggressive expansion reduction, I think. Mmm, yeah, I think. Let's see, this guy's a three siege. Let's go for Thames. I think he's out of manpower now, or sort of, kind of. He's actually got 15,000 left, which is uh, kind of crazy. Dude, we have some gnarly siege ability. Uh, Lithuanian Succession War? Apparently Great Britain got a... No. The nation of Poland, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Lithuanian Succession War against Austria. Okay, so... Okay, so... Austria declared war in Poland, they cite succession war as their CB. So Lithuania is now under a personal union with Poland. Okay. And Austria, or Poland is now asking me to, to join against Austria. Hmm. Not really sure how I feel about that. Okay, so Lithuania. Okay. Not sure how I feel about that. I think I might prefer to actually decline that. I'm willing to sacrifice the Polish alliance to keep the Austrian one. Um, that's kind of the way that I see it. That's just, that's, that's what I feel most comfortable with doing. Because Austria has been a really good ally for a very long time. And it just, it just makes more sense to me that way. To just hang on to the Austrian alliance. You know, we keep him out of Northern Italy, we keep him out of our Hungarian possessions. Son of a bitch. I'm actually kind of curious if we just attack him straight up. I am really curious, because we, we do win, right? Like, straight up. Where's it going anyway? Where the hell is that guy retreating to? Is he going all the way to Milan? I don't get it. Where's he go where's he going? I don't know. Holy shit! Can you believe that? He went all the way to fucking um all the way to Treviso. That's kinda crazy. Okay, so we have 99% occupation against the Hungarians. Okay, so apparently Hormuz and well, and the Ottomans went to war. Okay, so we're gonna take everything that's Croatian, and a part of me wants to take all of Transylvania and give that, release that as a vassal to Transylvania. Okay, so we would take all that for ourselves, and we would release a vassal of Transylvania here. 
Um, we don't really need to necessarily take this. This is Hungarian culture. Right? And then I want him to annul treaties with Austria. I mean, war reps. Are we rival to him? We are. Papal State, Genoa, Hungary, Poland, Moldavia. I mean, well, who are our allies? Russia, right? And Austria. So this would be... Yes, yeah, so we would create we would create the um the vassal here. Military access, royal marriage. Yes, yeah, so he doesn't trust me that much. Would I prefer war reps or would I prefer money? Both? Okay, so he gives me all of Croatia. He gives me all that. Transylvania, pretty much. Either that or we just... We just skip that part. No. That wouldn't be too bad. It's kind of border gory. No. So we take we t we have to take Hungarian culture, which honestly wouldn't be that bad. We take Hungarian culture. And uh, yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll go for this. I think we take Hungarian culture and we take Hungarian culture provinces. We take all of Croatia. He's going to give me war reps. He's going to give me money. He's going to null trees with Austria. That's pretty decent. I do like that. Um, we didn't really take too much war exhaustion at all. Let's send... Um, I think we're going to send the army to Ferrara real fast. Let's go deal with that unrest that we have there. Russia apparently has a disputed succession. Okay. Holy fuck! No way, dude! Wow, we are now one of the great powers of the world. My god, man. That's kinda cool. Let's wait for this war exhaustion to go down. Um, let's see. We're a great power. We've eclipsed, um, Hungary. We can now rival, honestly, pretty much anybody. I'm gonna hold off on it for now, but a part of me thinks we should actually probably start to expand against Poland. I don't know, though. We're picking a fight with possibly the wrong people in that situation. Let's actually go in just improve relations with all outreached countries for now, because we pretty much just went from 0 to 100 aggressive expansion with the whole world. I mean, fuck. I mean, it was a lot, dude. Holy Jesus! Our foursome is now 62. That's awesome. Uh, what's the combat width? Combat width is still 30. That's some pretty decent overextension here. What's our corn cost? Um, it's actually not too bad. 6.1%. We're... Oh, we were heading to Edmund, too. Alright, let's actually go and start these cores, I guess. Oh, that's right. I don't have points. So we might have some revolts here. Holy God, the Russians just declared on the Timurids, dude. My Lord. You crazy bastards. No taxes for tyrants. Okay, people are getting mad at our regime.
Okay, so we got global trade. It spawned. It should have spawned, I believe, in... Uh, where the hell did it spawn? Oh, no fucking way, for real? In fucking Persia, of all places. Jesus Christ. That's some bullshit. Alright. Um, let's take this diplomatic reputation. We also got our morale of armies. We also got our infantry combat ability. You know what? Just for kicks, we're gonna take this offensive. We're gonna get discipline. We're also gonna get recover army morale speed. And we're gonna be finishing up influence ideas pretty soon. Cool. Uh, did we take the- did we take those years of separatism yet? Damn. That- that might have come in handy, honestly, before taking all this territory. The years of separatism may have not been a bad idea. <laughs> might have been smart for us. Um, let me take the legitimacy just because we still have, so, you know, we have this ruler here and we're going to be deciding whether or not we're going all the way to the monarchists or the statists and, and all sorts of stuff like that. So let's just take some legitimacy and some prestige. I like the innovativeness though, but we're not doing too bad with technology at all anyway. So. Soon enough, we will have to get a strong enough fleet to be able to defeat the Ottoman Navy. For now, we're not doing too bad. Hmm. Let's just reinforce this position. We're taking a minus two. I kind of forgot these guys would be here. Jesus, man, we lost a lot of men. Okay, so Genoa is once again allied to the Papal State. The Papal State is also once again allied to Hungary. We will be destroying Hungary soon. For sure. We'll destroy his ass. The Polish may possibly turn hostile. The Austrians are losing that succession war pretty decisively. Um, but... We're going to be increasing in strength pretty fast. So we may very well be able to rival the Polish in their power. The French have invaded the Papal State. We still have claims. Jesus Christ, though, we have a lot of aggressive expansion. My God. It's terrifying. Terrifying. We're making quite a bit of money now. It's pretty decent. We're still rooting out that corruption there too. Religious unity is still looking good. Mamingan. Fortunately, we're going to get more separatism there. 
We're also going to get Croatian Separatists. Hungary, you went to war against who? I don't know, somebody. Damn. Fucking wrecked those guys. We've really turned this game around. We've really turned this game around. We were in pretty dire straits not too long ago. We still have not seen anything with um, a league, Protestant league or anything like that. We should see it soon, I think, anyway. can't build any more shipyards. We do need more barracks structures, though. Um, we also do need... Let's see, as far as states, we might actually make most of this Transdanubia. Yeah, we might make that a state. We'll see. Unless it's all cord. Dude, there's a commonwealth. Motherfucker, Poland. You bastard. There's the commonwealth. So, Hungary is now only allied to the Bible state. Okay. There's the commonwealth. You piece of shit. Let's see about that, buddy boy. Let's take that. And that Miltech. Alright, so we'll be fighting. We'll be fighting the commonwealth, I think. Yep. Let's see, absolute power. We take pride in our princedom in part precisely because it's unprecedented and stands in contrast to the oppression suffered in other nations. Our prince is the state. We have nothing to learn from foreign tyrants. Strengthen the monarchists or the statists. Is there any penalty for having the monarchists in power at all? Like Jesus. I'm not even entirely sure, to be perfectly honest. Holy shit, Austria's lost all allies but me. Is that really how weak he is now? Apparently, we're actually even stronger than Austria now. Hmm. Could be a little worrying. So the real question is, if I wanted to make the choice, who should I align with? France or Spain? Spain is actually decently more powerful than France. And the Ottomans are rivaled to Spain as well. A part of me thinks that makes things clear. Let's improve relations with the Spaniards. See what they say about an alliance. Bohemia is the new emperor again. An alliance with Bohemia actually probably is not the worst idea in the world. 
He's a little mad at me. He's unfortunately rivaled to Austria. But that's not entirely a guarantee that he will... I mean, that, that isn't a guarantee that he, he wouldn't, you know, take an alliance with me. That's that's not really, that's, that's not how that is. Let's see, so we, Venice has it, Istria, you're going to get it anytime soon, this institution here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do advancement effort here. Okay, so the Commonwealth is rival to Brandenburg, Bohemia, Great Britain, and Denmark. Okay, let's take, um, we need, let's see, Great Britain, Bohemia. I don't know, I mean, a, a part of me thinks... A part of me thinks becoming friends with Bohemia would be a good idea, and a part of me thinks it would be bad. Bohemia is allied to Spain, all things considered. Spain is not yet willing to accept an alliance, though. I mean, even our even our diplomatic reputation is not, you know, putting it over the edge. Hmm. Right now, I think I'm going to focus on admin because we don't have any more military idea groups for now. What policies? No policies yet. Would I be willing to take... Because I've already broken the alliance, right, with Bohemia and all them. Holy shit. This guy's no air. Apparently this guy because he's benevolent doesn't want me to doesn't want to attack me I guess or some shit. I don't know Under normal circumstances this guy would be pretty hostile Let me take an alliance with Bohemia see what happens And what about what about a Spanish alliance? Let's send a scornful insult to this motherfucker there's a problem rife with the Ottomans, and I suspect the cause of the Turkish. Almost. There we go. Alliance with Spain. Okay, we probably pissed off plenty of people, though. Holy Jesus, we're making some pretty good money. Not bad. Oh, dude, that scornful insult pissed this guy off. Holy God. Man, they got hella mad. We'll see what happens here. I wonder if the possibility of, um, personal union can happen here. We're still drilling our armies. France is going to declare war against Burgundy. Burgundy has no allies at all. Then again, neither does Austria. He's got just me and Augsburg. We're going to start to get administrative efficiency. Apparently Brandenburg rivaled me. 
That doesn't make me feel very good about anything, but um, I guess I rival him back. He is rivaled with Austria, the Commonwealth, and Bohemia, and me. So, all right. Whatever. I'm curious about this. What the fuck? Holy shit. These guys all could possibly fall into the personal unions with me. That's insane. Hmm. Why is why is Denmark still my rival for real? Jesus. Okay, aggressive expansion still going away at a fairly slow pace. We improve aggressive expansion. It's only 2.6 yearly right now. I prefer if it was better. Is it improve relations got there at half cost? Oh no, not at half cost, he's at full cost. 14.91 a month. Trade efficiency guy wouldn't be bad. I mean, I can afford this guy. Yeah, we should we should probably hire him. We'll we'll keep him on the payroll primarily because primarily because the faster we improve relations with everybody, right? The faster we improve relations with everyone, the more we can expand. That's that's pretty much just at a bottom line. That's how it has to be. That's just how it is. It's just the truth. So let's get our institution. Uh, we can upgrade these boats. Let's upgrade our institution. Right, so if I give this to nobility, we lose a little bit of money in production, but we do gain more more force limit, or no? No, we gain more manpower, right? Local manpower modifier, right? Controlled by the nobility, yeah. We could make Milan into a world port of some kind. Mantua, you've got an Emporium. Cremona, in theory, should go to... In theory, this should go to the nobility. Because it increases our manpower. The thing is, is you lose out a lot on tax and production. Hmm. So it's a, it's a good question if it's worth it or not. I mean, I don't know. It's like force limit production. You know, it's kind of a hard question. Holy shit, Spain declared war in France? Spanish conquest of Aquitaine. My god, man. And France is allied to just Brittany. He's getting wrecked. Okay, so we can take Transdanubia. And with that, we would be able to embrace... Let's see, Urbino. Let's see, we're more Romanian cultures. We'd be able to embrace Hungarian culture, but we'd be able to conquer pretty much for free. We can intervene on the side of great powers. It could be me and France versus Spain and Portugal. Wow. That's fucking nuts.
Let's go and stop drilling for a bit. Um, we're going to take this institution. Let me go ahead and actually, I think I will. Well, we're not ahead on admin yet. Let's, so let's, well, I don't, I don't want to, well. So we could take this admin tech and with the number of states and the administrative efficiency, it would actually be pretty nice for us to, to core, you know, hungry and stuff, take some more cultures, things like that. Hmm. Are we going to be expanding in Italy anytime soon? I mean, we got to play carefully because we're allied with, I mean, we're allied with Spain, Austria, Bohemia, and, and Russia, but still, I don't know. We have to be a little careful about where we go, what we do, things like that. Spain, Russia. Hmm. I mean, I can debase the currency just once to take this. We're paying off a little bit of, of corruption now, but... Taking this would be pretty useful. Fucking global trade, really. It is crazy. Let's take that. Now I boost the corruption spending. Military spending still pretty low. Could grant a generalship? Sure, why not? We could demand military support if we wanted to. Dude, holy shit, this guy's a 5442. And that's just with 40 tradition. Holy Jesus. That's insanity. Apparently, Tunis is scared of me. Apparently, the Timurids' independence is guaranteed by Russia. The Timurids have 102,000 men. And yet, Russia is guaranteeing them. That is scary. Okay, so let's, yeah, so, so we want to get rid of this corruption. So we're going to get rid of that corruption. We're no longer considered a great power, unfortunately. Really? Oh, Portugal took, took more ter territory than we did. Okay. Um, well... We can embrace Hungarian. I think that's going to be useful because we're going to be conquering a lot of Hungarian territory. And then, let's see, we're still burning up this. Let's just go to one. Let's reduce our maintenance entirely. So what we want to do now is we still want to do internal improvements. We're going to be working on increasing our, our troops to the force limit. Let's see, what's our combat with? It's still 30. And we still have pretty good points. We just got into the Age of Absolutism. I actually forgot the Age of Reformation would end. Okay, so we're in the Age of Absolutism. We got local nobility. So our Absolutism should increase yearly. There's the first circumnavigation. 
Our king has literally been in power since 1564. It is 1614. This guy's been in power 50 years so far. And he was the first ruler under this new government form. That is insane. Damn it, really? Hungary's still allied? Fucking son of a bitch. I don't know. We might have to battle Austria. I don't know. He keeps allying fucking um, Hungary. Stability or prestige? I like stability usually. But for 50 prestige, we don't have any prestige right now. Yeah, I'll take the stability. Okay. So what, your tolerance of heretics only has to be over two? To be able to... Accept uh, heretic religions? I don't know. Just kinda curious about tolerance of heathens. Wow, so Spain is actually losing this war. Quite decisively, I would say. Well... Eh, it's actually more- it's still teeter-tottering, actually. It's not so decisive. The election in the princedom. The unfortunate passing of Stefan III uh, forces us to hold a premature election. Okay. But the status and the monarchists have put forward a new candidate. So this guy's a 342, this guy's a 346. Wow. A 346 ruler that reigns until life and he's 18 years old. Do you have any idea just how fucking OP that government form is? God. That's so OP. It's terrifying, man. Just terrifying. Okay, so France and Spain are really just kind of exhausting each other here. I could do this to humiliate this guy, to humiliate Genoa. Holy shit. The Ottomans are 7,000 ducats in debt? That is insane. Wow. Okay, so corruption spending is gone. Or we, we spent enough on corruption now, so we don't have any more corruption. Okay. Um, let's see, the Princeton and free trade. Trade efficiency. Lose trade efficiency. I think I can afford the, the hit. Okay, so combo with is still thirty. It increases by two pretty soon. Free thinkers not persecuted. We get government reform progress and idea cost. Wow, that's actually really good. Jesus. We're gonna finish up influence ideas. We're gonna keep working on admin. We have nine 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 generation across the board. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see workshops. We do want to get this trade depots. The thing is, is I think I want to be at force limit first. We do have quite a bit of cavalry combat ability, um, twenty five percent. So part of me thinks maybe we can start another army, but we don't have the force limit for it though, at least not yet. So 
so this is uh four I think we can we can hire 21 right here right okay let's give this to nobility okay we get pretty damn good autonomy in most of these conquered territories pretty damn good autonomy Okay, let's take that vassal force my contribution unjustified demands. We get a free policy available for military Diplomatic relations reinforced cost or national unrest. Neither of those are particularly useful So we're not gonna worry about it Oh son of a bitch Hungary is guaranteed by the Commonwealth Damn boy Okay, yeah, we might need to battle the Commonwealth. I don't know. Also, what we could do, and this is probably much more preferable, is we attack the Papal State. Um, Let's see, a lot of these guys are not Catholic. Actually, we have a lot of aggressive expansion with Catholics, but most of these guys are not Catholic anymore. What we should do is attack the Papal State. And then also take stuff from Hungary in that same war. Actually, that is exactly what we should do. Hmm. That is exactly what we should do. And then we'll be taking a military ID group here pretty soon. Apparently, um, Brandenburg has formed a personal union with Ansbach. Okay. So yeah, so we can declare war in the Papal State for the Romagna, which is uh, quite a bit of land. Possibly later we can attack Ferrara. And then we can take stuff from Hungary in that same war, or we could just do something to Hungary in general, right? Okay, why don't we do that? We'll probably do that. Um, Navarra... Provence has been pretty much pushed back quite a bit over here. That's true. A part of me thinks we should actually attack Genoa and weaken him. Genoa's guaranteed by Spain because Spain is busy right now. And the Ottomans are too much in debt to ever join our wars. Brittany, Ferrara, and Hamburg. Oh, that's right. He owns Hamburg, Ferrara. And I have a claim there. Mm. You know what? I think we're actually probably going to destroy. Fuck, Genoa's a four level five. I think we're going to destroy Genoa. Let's get an admiral here. Let's attack, let's attack Genoa and his allies. We'll go after the people state a little later, I think. It's probably the best thing for us. All right, let's take a break here, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much.